Hello everybody, my name is John Siebers and I'm with Wool Car Hyundai North here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2021 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. Now the Hyundai Palisade was first introduced in 2019 with the 2020 model and was put out to be able to compete with such vehicles as the Mazda CX-9, the Honda Pilot and the Ford Explorer. Now there's four trim levels to the Hyundai Palisade which is your SE, SEL, Limited and then the Calligraphy that you see behind us. Today we're going to be taking a look at the bad boy, the calligraphy, and show you all the great features that comes along with this vehicle. And the first place we're going to go ahead and start is going to be the front. One of the very first things you're going to notice about this vehicle is the large front grille. Very indicative of the Hyundai Palisade. See this nice bow tie shaped design that is going to be really distinctive to the Palisade, along with this black glossy honeycomb grille and the large chrome Hyundai emblem in the front. So this won't be mistaken for anything else. You can be able to see that they went with a satin finish to go around the front grille instead of a chrome to add that nice accented touch without being too flashy. You do have your turn signals and marker lights up at the very top, which are gonna be molded flush with the hood and front bumper. And then down below, you have your dual LED projector lights for your headlights and also your high beams. By positioning these, not only does it add great visibility, but also a phenomenal aesthetic touch to the styling of this truck, which is something you're not going to see on any other vehicles out on the road. Coming over to this side as well, you see that you do have your 20-inch wheels with Bridgestone tires. Every calligraphy model is going to come standard with the 20-inch wheels, which are going to be designated just to this trim level. You do have a machine finished front end with a satin gray inlay finish which is going to be, like I said, standard to this model alone, so it won't be mistaken for anything else. With the Bridgestone Dueler all-season, all-weather tires, so you don't have a compromised ride quality. Now, everybody thinks that going with the larger wheel and tire is going to jeopardize ride quality. Having the white, lightweight aluminum wheel is going to help out with fuel economy, but also with a thicker sidewall, it's not going to jeopardize any of the ride quality that you would see on older 20-inch wheels or other different vehicles out on the market. Coming along to this side, you can see underneath on the bottom of your door panels, you do have the same satin trim that followed through with the front of the grill and the front lower faces of the bumper, along with your door handles too. Integrated turn signals into both of your mirrors, which are also collapsible. So if you're into a tighter parking spot or someone nudges that at the grocery store, those will be able to fold in. And then along with your satin finish for all of your window seams too. One noticeable design feature about this that I do want to point out is going to be the body line, which starts all the way from the front headlight that continues all the way to the back of the truck. Something you don't see on a lot of SUVs these days, but adds to the masculine look and design of the Palisade itself. Now continuing to the back, the same design features and cues that you saw in the front continue back here. LED taillights, your rear satin finish on the bottom of your bumper, paint to match bumpers as well and then also power rear lift gate. Now there's three ways to be able to operate this. One is from inside the compartment, the driver compartment, next to your left knee, you do have a switch to be able to open and close it, from the key fob or directly on the door itself. Now since it is a proximity key, the key does need to be next to the door that you're operating so that nobody can be able to run up and actually unlock or be able to open up the vehicle as well. Now if we get into the back, even with a third row seat up, you have over 18 feet of storage space. So if you're going on a longer road trip, taking the family camping, just coming back from the grocery store, tons and tons and tons of space. You do also have a split level floor, so a complete flat surface up on top, but then also a very, very deep cargo well down below. First aid kits, roadside assistant kits, anything that you want to be able to haul around but not be out in the open, perfect storage space for that as well. Now let's talk about configuration for folding the seats down or hauling any extra materials or let's say that you're taking the whole tribe out and you got to be able to lay everything down flat for tents and backpacks or ice chests, whatever it may be. Let's say it's a trip to the lake. Now on the calligraphy model, you do have one touch, fold flat, third row seats. Now Hyundai has taken a lot of cues from the previous owners and noticed that you know the seats did move a little bit slower so they did put new motors in that move a little bit quicker. But notice like I said they, they were one touch, so one more touch, be able to fold both those back up. Now this is a 60-40 split seat which means that there are seating for three people in the rear. Your left side will have seating for two and the right side for one. So you can fold down one side or the other independently of each other. 
Now going along with this model as well, these are also power reclinable. So you have somebody my size sitting in the third row, at least to be able to have a little bit of extra headroom and legroom. Now let's say that you don't have enough space with the third row all the way down. From here, you do have power fold flat second row seating. So with the same switch to the button right here, now you have a completely flat surface from the rear tailgate up to the front driver and passenger seats. Now all of the Hyundai Palisade calligraphies are going to come with the Hyundai Intelligent Key. Now just like a traditional key fob, you have your lock, unlock, your panic feature, but on top of that you do also have the power rear lift gate. So by one touch from the remote, press and hold that for three seconds, you can open and also close the rear lift gate but then also the self-start alarm. Now, the idea of the self-start is to be able to get the interior cabin as comfortable as possible for your occupants before you even get into the car. So, by pressing the lock button once, pressing and holding the start button for three seconds, then starts the Palisade. From here, it'll run for 10 minutes straight. You have a temperature sensor inside the vehicle along with one outside the vehicle. And it takes that information, and let's say it's 102 degrees outside, but it's 140 degrees inside your vehicle. The idea is it wants to run the air conditioner as much as possible to cool down the cabin temperature at least to 80 degrees. Now it also works during the winter time, but in the exact opposite. If it's 40 degrees outside, but 50 degrees inside your vehicle, turn on the heater, have the recirculating on, actually even be able to have it in defrost mode so when you get into your vehicle, you can be able to see out of your windshield and you have a nice toasty interior to be able to hop into. Be able to turn off that feature, simply hit the lock button and the self-start feature again, and now the vehicle turns off. So if you decide that you're not leaving right now or that you know uh, a meeting came up and you can't go out for lunch, you can be able to turn your vehicle off without it running outside for the full 10 minutes. Now keep in mind, while this function is going, your, all your doors are locked and also the alarm system is armed. So nobody would actually be able to get into the vehicle or much less drive away with it without the intelligent key. Now you have proximity sensors in three different spots for this truck. One on the driver door handle, passenger door handle, and the rear lift gate. And it has what they call selective door unlock. So as long as the keys on your body, which be in a pocket, gym bag, backpack, purse, whatever it may be, and you're within arm's length of the door, press the button once, just the driver door unlocks. Press the button one more time, now the door locks and the alarm is armed. Now the great part about having the selective door unlock is if you only want to enter into the vehicle, let's say it's just you by yourself, nobody can be able to get in from the other side. But if you want to let everybody in and unlock all the doors, press the button two times, you're going to hear two beeps, then all of your doors are then unlocked. Great feature to be able to have, super easy to be able to use. If you've never used it before, once you start doing it, you'll never know how you live life without it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the Palisade. One of the very first things you're going to notice when you open up the door to the Palisade is going to be this large storage compartment right here along the front of the driver's door with an integrated cup holder. So if you have anything larger like a water bottle thermos or a fountain drink, you can be able to use that storage instead of cluttering up the center console. All four doors will also have the quilted leather that runs along the sides, padded armrest, and then all your, your soft touch window controls, window locks, power door locks, and also mirror controls all within fingertips reach when your hand is laying on the door panel. Now the Hyundai Palisades driver's seat is also a 14-way power driver's seat, which does have power lumbar support, which can be able to adjust up and down and in and out. But one thing that's going to separate itself from the rest of the competition is going to be the lower leg support. So the top button all the way on the left, you can adjust the lower leg support out by about two inches. So if you're going on a longer road trip or just have longer legs to be able to have that support, or be able to retract it back in if you're a shorter driver. Now that we're inside the cabin of the Hyundai Palisade, the first thing you're going to notice is just the modern amenities, but also the luxurious touch and feel of everything inside of here. Now starting off with your push button start, same standard that you'd see on every other self-start vehicle or push button start, that foot on the brake, hit the start button, vehicle start, same way to turn it off. You do have a leather wrapped steering wheel which does have the ventilated leather right here onto the side which adds a nice textured grip but also luxurious and sporty look. Windshield wipers and blinkers and headlights. Once again all within fingertips reach from where your hand should be resting on the steering wheel. But notice how they don't stick out past the steering wheel. The reason being is if you're taking a sharp turn, last thing you want to do is be knocking on your windshield wipers and adding any extra distractions. But very easy to be able to access while both hands stay on the steering wheel itself. 
Everything from your volume controls, Bluetooth controls, and rear stereo are going to be located right here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, along with all your cruise controls, and also information which gets displayed on your onboard computer here on the very front is going to be accessible through the right-hand side. Now this is a tilt and telescopic steering wheel, so you can be able to slide it up and down, but also in and out. So you want to be able to get yourself ideally set up to where you feel comfortable with the pedals and then being able to adjust the steering wheel in and out from that point instead of getting comfortable with the steering wheel and not being able to reach the pedals. Now going into our dash display, this is a completely digital dash, so there's not going to be any analog gauges. So from your fuel, your speedometer, your engine RPMs, and your engine temperature are going to be your four main gauges that you have up front. You can be able to scroll through different things such as your average fuel economy, this is going to detect you of all your safety features you have while you're driving down the road. Compass, all the way back to your fuel economy there, and then also being able to scroll through different submenus for each one. So once you get into every submenu, from here you can be able to see your distance traveled and also time on your different trip computers. Your attention level, so as far as how long you've been driving the vehicle, so once you start after a couple hours of driving, the vehicle will come up and say, hey, maybe it's time to be able to pull over, take a break, get a cup of coffee. So it's all dependent on your driving styles. If the vehicle feels that you know you're drifting between lanes, that hey, it's time to pull over, get yourself something to eat or drink, or just be able to take a quick rest. Tire pressure monitoring system, so it'll be able to come up on the display telling you what the PSI in is on all four tires. Your different drive modes that you have, which we'll go over in a minute. And this is going to be for your H-Track system, which will be able to independently tell you how much power each wheel is getting from front to rear in the event that you're in snow or ice or sandy conditions. So all that's going to be controlled right here from the steering wheel. Now another big part to be able to talk about is going to be your blind spot monitoring. On most traditional vehicles, you have a sensor or a light that's going to come up on each of the rearview mirrors along with the audible tone that's going to come out and tell you, hey, there's a vehicle there. The Palisade Calligraphy goes the next step forward, which is using the actual cameras in the side mirrors. So when either blinker is applied, it'll come up and be able to show you exactly what's onto the side of you. So it, once again, it's a very redundant system to where you have audible and visual cues to be able to let you know, but that's going to be for driver and passenger sides. Now your center console is quite unique to this Palisade. Underneath you can be able to see you have a large pass-through storage compartment, so any of the larger items you can be able to store below, such as tablets, laptop computers, along with a 12 volt and USB charging port underneath. Coming up to the top, you do have this tray, which if you push this button, slide forward, you'll see that you have a large area for more storage. You have wireless phone charging located right here, then also two integrated cup holders. By pushing these buttons, these automatically pop out from the side, to be able to give you refreshment holders. Now to fold those back, it's just as simple as winding them back up, and then to release them, there's two buttons. Tying that, once again, another very deep storage compartment with another USB and 12 volt power outlet located here. Very, very deep, like I said, for tablet storage, You'll be able to store a small purse, any other belongings inside, and then this removable tray to be able to hold chains, toothpicks, whatever the small things that you'd want to be able to have at fingertips reach. One thing you're gonna notice about this is the amount of power outlets, either whether it be 12 volt or USB that this vehicle has. Too many actually to be able to count, but there's even more into the rear. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Now coming into the second row seats, you can see with this calligraphy edition that you do have the standard captain's chairs. Now, you do have heated and cooled second row seats, just like the front. So you have three different zones to be able to set those on. This is going to be your rear climate controls. So for second and third row, be able to control temperature and also fan speed, but then also where the air is going. And then again, another 12 volt power outlet, and then your 115 actual power outlet converter. So laptops, tablets, be able to plug those in and be able to charge them as well. Now on the back of both front driver and passenger seats, you do have two other additional USB outlets tons of places to be able to uh, charge things. Now let's talk about the maneuverability of these front seats. Not only do they slide forward and backwards to be able to give the rear occupants a little bit more leg room, but then also to get everybody as comfortable as possible in the second row, they do also recline forward and backwards. You have rear center armrest as well, but then by one step of the button, these slide forward. Now notice that the whole seat didn't collapse. The idea is if you have a child safety seat already located inside here, you don't have to be able to remove it in order to be able to gain access into the third row seat. 
very great feature to be able to have, especially if you have small children. Now, just like what we saw with the rear seat controls too, if you wanted to lay the seat flat, simply by holding the lever on the side, now you have your flat surface as well. Now I want to be able to show you how easy it is to actually get into the third row seat. Me being six foot three, 265 pounds, I'm on the larger side. So showing that even full size adults can be able to gain access into the third row with ease. So by simply pressing the button on the top part of the seat, this slides forward. You have a handle right located right here. Step forward. One smooth movement. And voila. I have headroom and legroom to spare. Now you put two other guys my size back here, we better be friends because we're going to be touching each other, but two full size adults, no problem whatsoever. Getting out is going to be just as simple by hitting the button right here on the top of the seat. Power folds, slides forward, and just reversing the process, and voila. Thank you for joining us on episode two of Roadside Reviews in this beautiful 2021 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. Now, if you have any questions or we would like to schedule a test drive, please feel free to reach out to us. Be able to come on in, test drive one for yourself and see the features firsthand. Also remember to like and subscribe and leave any comments of videos you'd like to see in the future. So again, my name is John Siebers with Wool Car Hyundai North and thanks for joining us.